everyone, welcome to Comic Con Fab. My name is Kyle Lee, and today we're going to go into Indie Comic Reviews. Now, Indie Comic Reviews is going to be one of my new series that I'm going to be doing for you guys every single Wednesday. And the entire point of doing Indie Comic Reviews is so that I can do reviews on comic books that are still relevant, but it's something that you guys might not be aware of. Um, you know, you could go pretty much, you could go to uh, several different sites, you can go to several different YouTube channels and find reviews on mainstream stuff from Marvel and from DC, but, you know, the little guy needs a little bit of help too. So my, my goal here is to, you know, expand your knowledge on what's out there in the indie comic book market and you know, hopefully find something that's good that's, uh, you know, outside of the mainstream where you can help support some of these smaller publishers that are just starting off or maybe they um, have been trying to do it for a long time but they just don't have the exposure and they get some exposure, you get some new content that's not mainstream and hopefully it's a win-win situation for you. So today what I chose out was a comic book that I thought was a little bit weird at first. Uh, no, I still think it's pretty weird. It's it's a pretty weird comic. But um, when I read it, <laughs> it was actually pretty good. Uh, the comic is this. Well, Kyle, what, what the hell is that? Um, this is Penguins vs. Possums. Now, the reason I didn't show you the cover right off the bat is because look at what it does. It's a green cover. It's like doing all this stuff. You see how it's all jacked up? That's why I didn't really want to show you the cover. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Penguins versus Possums. And uh, let's see, I want to make sure I give the people credit that deserve it. So doing the, the creator, the writer and cover are done by Sebastian Catlisic. I hope I said that right. Uh, pencils, inks, and also another writer is John Bring. And uh, the editor and writer Another writer is uh, Lindsay Calhoun. What I really liked about this comic was that <laughs> I went in with like no expectations and I, I had nothing, I, I, did, I didn't know what to expect from a comic like this. But I go in and I'm like thinking, oh well, this will be an interesting topic. I wonder what they're going to cover. And it's about these penguins and these possums at war with one another. They're, they are in this zoo, they're in the San Diego Zoo. And they're fighting against one another. And I guess they've had this long rival um, between the two species, which is kind of weird because, you know, penguins, snowy places, North Pole, South Pole, whatever. And then you have possums towards the equator, you know, North America and Australia and things like that. So for them to have a conflict, it, it didn't really make sense to me. But okay, whatever, you know, whatever gets the story going. But... It was really cool. Uh, the penguins have guns and artillery and they're shooting at stuff. There's even one point in the story where uh, the penguin shoots a <laughs> rocket launcher and it blows up a house and <laughs> the possums are all devastated. And there's an entire legend about one possum bearing a specific mark that will come and save their entire species and will end this entire war between the possums and the penguins, which apparently has been going on for a long time. Now, um, I thought it was a really great book, and I'm definitely going to be following along. Um, I, I'm actually going to pick up volume one. Uh, let me do that right now, actually. Bam, right here. I don't know if you can see it. Penguin versus possum, volume one. Find it, complete order. Get that shit. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's really slow. Mm, mm, mm. It's still going. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, see? Bam, bought it. Uh, worth it. Over. So get that book. I highly recommend it. Um, it's it's definitely something that's different. Um, it's a fun ride and I can't see where do they take it. I wanna see how 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 much I grow to like some of these very weird characters. Now, only discrepancy that I had with the book is that the art is in black and white. They didn't have color. Now, there's a number of reasons why some of the smaller publishers don't go with color. Um, you know, sometimes it's too time-consuming and they have to get the comic out. 
um, by a specific deadline or that it's also very expensive to put um, color comics out and for mass distribution. So I completely understand that. The only problem is that with some of the art in about three or four different panels, I didn't really uh, understand what I was looking at, which it's fine because everything else, uh, the art works great everywhere else, but it was some of the smaller panels. I just, it, it was too zoomed in. I didn't really know what I was looking at. And the only other discrepancy I had was in the writing. Sometimes it would say possum or it would say a possum. Now, there's actually a difference in the species, which, you know, most people don't even understand the difference, but um, opossums are what you have here in North America. Uh, it's that ugly thing with the nasty white face and ugly body, and then you have opossum, which is this cuter, uh, but still pretty freaking ugly um, brown thing, and um, they're two completely different species. Now, now the book is based off of opossums that are here in North America, so those are the animals that you're fighting against, which I don't have a problem with. It's just like um, sometimes uh, the bubble will say opossum, and then other bubbles, or most of the bubbles will say possum. So um, that's the only thing that I didn't really like about it. Uh, it's minor and nitpicky, but uh, for somebody like me that I know the difference, I don't know why I know the difference, but I know the difference. It just kind of um, bothered me a little bit, but um, overall, the story is great. So everything is great. The The art is great. Maybe color would help distinguish what I'm looking at for me. Um, I have that little nitpicky thing with possum versus opossum, but overall, the book, Penguins versus Possums, great book. Get it. I got it. I'm going to read it. You should get it too. All right, guys. So that was my indie comic book review on uh, Penguins versus Possums. Um, hope you pick it up. If you guys have any questions for me, feel free to reach out to me at Comic Con Fab and um, on Twitter and on Instagram, or you can leave a, um, a comment down below. So if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Let me know um, why or why not. And also, if you ever if you've already read Penguins vs. Possums, let me know what you thought about it. All right, have a great rest of the day, guys. Happy viewing, and as always, happy reading.